I thought that you were born or developed early on a speech impediment, yeah. a stutter, and that you had this thing your whole life. And I come to find out that this is an injury. And yeah. then I'm starting to think like, whoa, holy shit. So at some point it dawns on you, this is never going away. At some point you have to learn the a new pattern, I'm assuming. You mm -hmm. probably learn know letters that maybe you're mm -hmm. better at. Or more. Mm -hmm. So I have a million fucking questions. First of all, of walk us through that day. What happened? It was 11 years ago uh, and I was working at a comedy club. I was working at Flappers in Burbank. I was the door guy there, never to do stand up. Like I didn't, I never wanted to do it. And uh, I but liked, did you, but- Did you think you could that even then? I tried, I tried, but okay. I bombed real, real good. Bombed Enough to be like never, never fucking again. mind for yeah, me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, here's the thing is like, I, it was the perfect night job for me because I could uh, 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 have my days free to do um, acting stuff. So I moved out here to be an actor. I went to, uh, performing arts middle school, performing arts high school. And um, I just, I, you know, I really kind of loved that whole world. So public speaking was never a thing. Being in front of crowds was never a thing for me. Um, um, so we, they had a pickup softball game there and uh, they, every week I went and then this was like a, a year after I lived here. I already had uh, representation acting wise with a, a, a pretty pretty reputable agency and a good manager and I had some appointments lined up some callbacks for those appointments I already I, I look young now I mean 11 years ago 12 years ago I looked even younger obviously so I was booking like a lot of stuff for like uh for Disney and I had some stuff lined up for like uh like uh like like Mad Men and some di like uh, uh Nickelodeon stuff and like uh How I Met Your Mother like some guests and you know some so some stuff for me that like I was so excited about the momentum of of that and then just being around stand up being such a fan of like what it is that stand ups do and like it just kind of felt um it just felt like next to it you know just being like oh i'm in it and stand up and is still in the in the in the same arena as like uh uh acting and performing and so um i played baseball growing up and I played, uh, so I elected to play shortstop. Um, and, uh, and, um, that one of the days I remember it was like a Sunday and that following week I had a, uh, a bunch of, uh, like I had like casting director meetings and just a bunch of, I just remember that week I, I was like on cloud nine because I just felt so, um, like I just, I don't know. You, 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 it, it never happens that quick in people's in 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 this industry. And for me, it might not have. But at the same time, it still felt like I was really making a lot of momentum and building it. So uh, that Sunday, um, they it was just a grounder. It was just a ground ball that hit, got hit my way. And sometimes you play these. You play softball and sometimes these guys like they come up and smack the shit out of it. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. we played we played like the the Burbank that game I think was the Burbank Fire Department and so every and it's co ed. So that I've we played got the Burbank Fire Department. <laughs> okay. So then in you, a rec league before. Yeah. Really, and those so, yeah. guys I watched one of them, they ran over a lady at the plate. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. I know exactly. And they told us too, they, we played basketball against them too. They told us they're going to foul the fuck out of you. And they said, I swear on God. Okay. I played in a wreck basketball <laughs> week too. Swear on God. Yeah. They said it. <laughs> if you call fouls on them, they'll fucking ticket you on the way home and shit. They'll follow you and ticket you. And these refs were letting them slaughter us. And you can't do anything back. You can't punch a cop on the court. Yeah. You know, no that way. ain't a regular dude. Ah, uh, yeah. They're brutal, man. Damn, so dude. we played. So yeah, we, so, and they, I mean, and we're like, you know, it's like a so co-ed league. I'm on the Flappers team. I'm on the Flappers team. None of us, we, none of us know what the fuck. I mean, none of us know what the fuck we're doing. And, um, and it, uh, so it popped up. I, it just took a weird hop. Like I'm, I've got good hand eye coordination or maybe I, maybe I used to, or maybe I thought I did, but I thought like it, it popped up, it hit me and, um, I fell back and went on the ground. So I literally, and I later found out only recently found out that because of due to CTE brain scan and all that shit, my brain, my brain in my head went oh, back God. and then forward. It physically shook. So I had like bruising like a traumatic brain injury on 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 uh, on my brain from that and the whole time 
you know, the diagnosis that they gave me was a minor vocal contusion with a major concussion. People a million times said that to me. You have a minor vocal contusion with a major concussion because the, 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 that day, I, I, that day I was scheduled to go to work after the game. And after that play, I only remember the, I don't remember any of the events that day. I only remember what people have told me about that, the events that night and then the following morning. So that night, apparently, I had gone to uh, back to the club to do my shift. What? And, and then they were, yeah, I'd gone back to the club to do the they, but, but, but they. You do own flappers now, right? Yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have it. You got shakes. Yeah, up. I've made no money from it. Oh, but, come yeah. on. No, no, no. I, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, so I, um, so you don't even remember this, but you went back to work. They released you? went back you? to work, yeah. So, well, yeah, they, they the released me. You went to no, the hospital? Not from there, not okay. from there. So I went, to, I went back to work. They were like, hey, you're kind of out of it. Went back home. Someone went to, had told you. They mm -hmm. noticed that you were that enough. Yeah, they were like, you, I just think you just need to like sleep it off. And then the worst I, uh, thing. yeah. <laughs> and then, so I went home, went to sleep, and I woke up. And I just remember my roommate was like crying. I remember he was like crying at the sink and I couldn't, I couldn't really remember much else from that day. But I remember later that day I was in the hospital. My parents, they were still in Vegas at the time. They're back in Indiana now, but they were in Vegas at the time. They flew, um, and, and saw me that night in the, in the hospital. And, um, I remember, I don't even remember the, the amount of doctors that came through to see me, but it was like, all right, we're flying somebody else in from Vegas where uh, uh, Vegas has a uh, Vegas has a good um, like uh, they have a good unit uh, uh, I can't remember what the college is that's in Vegas but it's like UNLV yes yeah UNLV that's right uh, UNLV had somebody that they flew in and then they had like a, like a, like a ear, nose and throat. And then they had like a pathologist come see me and a neurologist, neurologist come see me. And, uh, basically when they ran all this, the scans and did all the tests, they were like, listen, this is, this is what it is. Uh, but it's something that I, it's something that should your, my speech used to be much worse. And they were like, it should come back, um, in a short time. They were like, it should come back in a, in about a month, <laughs> which is such a weird number. Um, so in that time, um, I, uh, remember writing down a lot of the feelings that I was having, not never to really talk about it on stage, but just like, Hey, this is crazy. Like stuff that's happening to me. I remember writing down a lot of the stuff in when, in the few days that I was in the hospital, uh, uh, on a napkin, um, and just to kind of try to process what was happening. Cause it, it, you really, like, I was like, this is at that. I remember when, when I was starting to feel like myself again, I was like, this is crazy. I don't think this will ever manifest. It's, I don't think it'll manifest itself or manufacture itself into something worse. And of course, famous last thoughts, I guess I have a, I would say, tumultuous relationship with my with my speech because of the amount of um ridicule and uh uh social sort of um disson dissonance that i felt and and how i was distanced and sort of felt kind of isolated because of it and uh early on, not at all really thinking this was going to be my trajectory, feeling very much like, woe is me and embellishing. Like a this actually a victim. just ruined everything Yeah, like, exactly. A, sure. victim, a victim mindset. Not, and you know, it's, it, it, everything happens to every, some, everything happens to everyone. So feeling like you can only be sad about it can only get you so far and you can only do it for so long, which by the way, I think it is healthy to be like, listen, this sucks and I'm in a shitty spot right now, address it. And then you got to do 100%. what you can to get out of it, um, or, or embrace it. And, can, and, 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 you know, you can, you can try to get out of your situation for so long before you're like, all right, I have a lot to learn from this. I'm going to use it to, to, to what I can to still let my light shine or let, let, let me express myself despite my circumstances. And, you know, when I first started, uh, I, 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 I revisited all those notes that I wrote down on the napkin, you know, trying to go on, go on stage with, uh, uh, I had gotten a lot of encouragement from comics who were over at flappers who were like, listen, you got to use what happened to you. Talk about it. Talk about it. People who stutter, we all do this and that we're always thinking ahead to things that, that, that we get stuck on. So like, that's what's, that's where you're a lot of the social. You're thinking ahead of what I don't want to say, right? <laughs> yeah, Is exactly. That, wow. It's, you're, you're circumventing all uh -huh. the 
uh-huh. time because and that's that's hard i think that that contributes a lot to this vicious cycle because you get so much anxiety not from not from just the stutter but it's also because I can't sometimes be fully in this conversation with you. I hear you on that. I, I, you You're, can't. You you miss human connect connection. You miss human connection because you're you're literally directing your life all the time. And sorry, I know I'm getting like emotional, but it's no, just it's, it's 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 something that like it, I, I have so much anxiety all the time because I'm I'm. I'm thinking all the time about the way that I say things and not not necessarily just what I want to say. And I I envy people who like they they're you, you sometimes you can just see people they're they're all exterior. Their heart is just everywhere. And 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 you you, you they they say something and it's imperfect and somehow it's still so awesome because that's just who they are. For me, I'm constant now I think that is also why it's such a strength of mine is because I'm constantly doing it. I'm constantly in my head about the way something goes or how it goes a different way. That's why my relationship with my speech has been so tumultuous because I I used it initially to make self-deprecating jokes to really heal and then because I've gotten so much progress over my speech and then I had success with my speech people now criticize the legitimacy of it and if and and if it and if people it's, if it's an act or really? if I put it's on my whole for year I get it now I did I did America's Got Talent almost eight years ago and my speech was way different then than it is now and consistently but you've worked on it right? I've worked on it year no one sees my medical bills no one sees the 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 amount of professional medical professionals even you and I talking before also, the before the thing knows like, that 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 whole season for flappers don't that was the only error you made man <laughs> <laughs> you were a fucking gold glove out there shortstop <laughs> That was the lone error, man. A gold glove. <laughs>